Hello, welcome to Revelator Hour for Bikers Life Less Ordinary. So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to set up your audio preferences on a Mac when using OBS and also how to split the sound so that you can record what's actually coming out of your computer or on the screen as well. So let me just show you first of all with this. Revelator Hour. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch it over to the uh, full screen layout here of OBS. Now, right now here, you can see that the picture is coming out of the webcam right here, and the audio is coming through at the bottom here through this uh, microphone. And the basically, it's the microphone, the, the input which I'm using. Now, I'm using the headphones here, uh, but you could also just have the built in microphone from the laptop as well. Now, one of the problems is, let's say you wanted to film some film footage uh, or game footage uh, that's coming directly off your laptop screen or computer screen. Um, if you have the same input uh, into the microphone, uh, what will happen is, let's say if you're having earphones like this, when you play your video or you're playing your game, the sound won't come through. So I'll quickly demonstrate on one of my videos from my uh, YouTube channel. Here, this is my channel here, video. And you can see actually on the bottom here, there isn't actually any sound coming through. That's only my sound. What I'll do, I'll just pause that now. So basically there's no sound coming from that because I've got the, the earphones in. The, the OBS uh, from the built-in microphone and also the microphone is not picking up any sound. If I disconnected this and had built-in, then this is what happens. Okay, so now this is just the built-in microphone from the laptop itself. If I went back to my video, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell down there somewhere for all the latest videos. So, in April 2019, the rules are changing for riding motorcycle. Okay, so now you can see that when I played the video, you could hear the audio. The problem is that with the audio that's coming from your microphone, coming from your voice, and also from the uh, video itself, uh, there might be completely different levels. And because it's going into the same feed, you can't adjust it. Also, there might be a difference in video and audio syncing, which you're going to have to adjust. So you're going to have to watch one of my other videos, how to adjust that. And also the other videos on how to set up your, uh, go into the settings for OBS and change bitrate if you need to, or change the FPS settings. Anyway, so this is how you capture the audio from your gameplay, from your screen, whatever's playing on your screen, and I'll show you right now. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to go to a site called uh, shinywhitebox.com and if you Google search shiny white box, uh, and it will show you, I show you audio capture. That's what you need to download and this is what it is. And this is for Mac users. And it's perfectly safe, perfectly uh, legal as well, no, no dramas at all. So just click on the download uh, installer and you just go through the whole process as you normally would uh, for downloading a new program. Right, once you've done that, now you can either search for MIDI setup, MIDI, uh, audio MIDI setup there, or you can go into your launch pad at the bottom and go into your other utilities area and it will say audio MIDI, MIDI setup there. Okay, so I'll just get rid of that right now. Right, at the bottom here, what you want to do is add and then create a multi-output device, a multi-output device, okay? And then what you want to do is click on the built-in output, but also click in uh, I show audio capture. Delete drift correction and then have your I audio capture as your default, as your default one. Then that's it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just uh, delete that one because I've already got mine already set up here, which is there. You can see that I show audio capture 
high shoulder capture, built-in output, no drift correction, that's it. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is go to your system uh, preferences and go to sound. And what's at the bottom here, you'll see it says multi-output device, aggregate device for the output settings. That's what it will be. And for the input, you've still got your microphone or whatever microphone you're using. That's your output device right there. That's it. That's all you need to do. Click that down. Go into the OBS settings. Go to audio. And the second auxiliary device, audio device, click on I show you audio capture. That's it, that's all you need to do. And then you just save those settings. Now you'll see at the bottom of the screen, you've got another audio uh, microphone uh, setting here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up the, um, the video again, and you'll see it actually playing on here. And also, we'll go back to leave it playing, and we'll see the audio coming through on there. Okay, so here's my... Uh, YouTube channel. The rules for riding motorcycles in London in 2019 are changing. Okay. Do you want to find out more? Catch you inside. Now you can see the audio Revelator L is coming through. Hello, welcome to Rev. Now you can see that the audio is coming through on these on the lower screen. So this is the the lower microphone, if you like, for the the capture of whatever's on your screen. And the mic the top one is your built-in microphone. Okay, so let's say if you wanted to record uh, that and you wanted to have a split screen, let's say of you on one side and you wanted to have uh, whatever the screen capture on the other side. So let me just show here. So let's just say I want to change this. I want to have myself on one side and now I want to add something else. So let's say I want to go to window capture and window, just name it. And then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna show the Safari here, what's playing on the Safari, for example. There you can see me in the video. Now I'm just going to resize it by pressing and holding Alt key and then just with the touchpad just resizing it, let go of the out key, and then I can resize it in proportion. There we go. Right, and I'll transition that over there. So now you can see both on there on the side. Right, so what all I need to do now is press play. Revelator Alf from revelatoralf.com. This is a channel for motorcycle exploring, biking issues, and that. lifestyle. Right, that's enough of that. Okay, so basically what you can see is just uh, the two videos playing at exactly the same time. Just go back to my webcam. So there you can see both playing at exactly the same time, like that, and there we are, like that. So if I transition this back to uh, the full screen now, uh, you can see that on the bottom there, this is where is the audio feed, a separate audio feed for your screen recording, whatever, whatever is playing on your, on your desktop. So whether it's a video that you want to incorporate, one of your own videos, remember copyright here. So when you incorporate one of your own videos in a live stream, let's say you want to talk about a bit of game capture or something like that, and you're going to put that you know, side by side you know, with you, whatever. With a Mac, the audio issue is a bit of a problem. So you need this uh, iShow Audio Capture to resolve the issue. So I say download it, go into your MIDI setup, audio MIDI setup, follow those instructions, go into your OBS settings audio, set up your secondary mic auxiliary set, uh, select iShow Audio Capture, and then away you go. You'll be able to capture both separately, and you'll be able to adjust both microphones, uh, the sound levels accordingly, so they match each other as well. So you'll have a continuous audio stream from both at the same level. Right, I hope this helps, and uh, well, catch you on the next video. Revelator L.